Mr. Top Loaded Gaming, the fucking garden gnome who thinks he's intelligent. Hey everyone, Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming. So if you're following everything that's going on with the John Hancock strikes, if you didn't know, John Hancock, after Rich at Review Tech USA made his video, pinned a comment on his most recent video saying that he was going to be responding to R Rich at Review Tech USA's video about him. Now, to me, it, it sort of implies like uh, that John is defensive. And I don't know how someone who just did the things that John did could be getting defensive for getting called out, but I think that's what it is. It, it, it's defensiveness on his part. So let's check out the video and see what's up. This video is going to be a little bit more somber. If anybody fucking brought on the somberness, it's fucking you. I've been going through quite a bit recently. I haven't talked a lot about it. Fucking first thing. First fucking thing out this dude's mouth. I've been going through quite a bit. You know, and you, maybe you, maybe you are, John, but Q Mundane Matt. I have been in a not the best place mentally. And now, wait a minute, oh, Matt! Oh, okay. No! <laughs> Matt, no! Usually, Facebook friends reach out and talk to each other first, but that's a side point. This motherfucker right here. Facebook friends usually reach out and... Uh, we're YouTubers. We make videos. Richard Review Tech USA is a, is a commentary channel. Of course Rich is gonna fucking call you out. Especially on this shit, John. Come on, dude. Really, John? Like, so far, you know, you swung at two and, and you're 0 for 2, dude. You're 0 for 2 and I, I'm not even a minute into the video yet. You're, you're giving Rich shit because he had to call you out. And Rich's vi fucking video was fair, man. Rich's video was fair. You deserve to be called out for this. Do you understand? You did one of the most egregious things that you can fucking do to another YouTuber. Do you under do you comprehend that, John? Because it seems like you don't. Sometimes I do things impulsively, and sometimes I don't think about the consequences afterwards. Am I to believe that you did this impulsively? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I buy that, John. I'm not sure I buy that you did this impulsively. You know, now maybe, maybe if you actually described what went down, you know, if you actually explained the thought process and how you ended up making a rash decision based on something that happened like quick in the moment but you have been censoring your comments and everything for a long long time you have known about people making videos about you for a long long time I don't think this was a rash decision I think you have thought long and hard and you had convinced yourself that you were sticking with it. You were right. No one could use your likeness. And, you know, you were sticking with it. That doesn't sound like, you know, oh, you know, I made a lapse in judgment. You know, it was a, it was a spontaneous thing and I made a lapse in judgment. No, that sounds like you had thought it through and you had convinced yourself. I'm sticking through with this no matter what. And once... The shit hit the fan. You realize, oh, you know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not right, but you're still defensive about it. You're still wanting to, like, blame Rich for having to call you out. I want to say sorry to to really just the YouTube community. There's a difference between criticism and harassment. It sounds to me like you're trying to justify your strikes right now. There's a difference between criticism and harassment. You have a moment to, you know, apologize for the, the, the shitty thing that you did to Dave and to Jeff. And you say, I'm going to apologize to the YouTube community. Not to Jeff, not to Dave. And then say, immediately after, there's a difference between criticism and harassment. 
Yeah. It's it's called someone making like a thousand videos to you relentlessly versus someone who has a bit of criticism that they put in one little video and then they move on. That is criticism. That's not obsessive behavior. But you're trying to lot it in. That that that's why I called you out in the past before with with the whole at games thing is because you 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 seem to lot all criticism as as harassment. You know, it's a, it's a tactic used by a lot of people these days. And it's bullshit. I did try memberships. It was a it was a mistake. As for crowdfunding for the museum, I'm not crowdfunding for the museum. I have a, a full-time job outside of this channel. I have a family. My family uh, has gone through quite a bit, which I haven't discussed. It's some personal things. Uh, I've had my own health issues. Really, this hasn't made me 100%. Can I ask a question? What the fuck does this have to do? What 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 does this have to do? With the fact that you issued false copyright strikes against two people. Is that fair, John? Is that fair criticism? What the fuck does that have to do with anything? I feel like that's why you chose to, to respond to Rich instead of, you know, actually addressing the situation. Because there's all kind of stuff that's being said, and you know, here comes this video. Instead of instead of actually addressing the the harder shit, you know, the 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 shit that you have to swallow your pride, and admit that you were completely wrong and out of line with the people involved, the people that you went to their channel and flagged. I need to handle criticism better. I think there's a difference between criticism and harassment. Second time, I think there's a difference between criticism and harassment. Sure, John, there is. Okay? All right? But you didn't need you, you're not even addressing whether you you still think Smash JT's criticism or or Dave's criticism is harassment. Are you trying to justify those strikes or not? Because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like you're trying to justify them. I mean well for what I do. I mean, my, my intentions are pure. I shouldn't have done what I've done. So, bottom line is that I've retracted the copyright strikes. Sometimes I think that uh, the negativity wrapped up in doing a YouTube channel uh, has overwhelmed me. And I haven't always handled it the best. And I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, handling that better moving forward. So... You know, John, I'm going to give you a quick piece of advice. And I think you should take it. As someone on, on the internet, when you put your thoughts out there, people are going to respond to them no matter what. You're not going to be able to make everyone happy. Someone's always going to have something to say. And that should be obvious. That should be obvious to, to a channel your size, man. So, my advice is this. Stop governing over your comment section. Put all your your ratings back to normal. Don't censor certain words. Just let it all go. Let it all slide off. Ignore it. If if you want to, you know, shelter your your kids or whatever, you know, do whatever you got to do on on that end. But as for you, as for your sanity let this all go it may even be liberating for you you know John do what you want if you want to be a soft filled bitch who flags videos you know that's up to you but I'm gonna let something I said back in 2018 play us out this is Trevor over at Top Loaded Gaming I'll see you next time you're basically the mundane mat of video game channels uh, I am sorry fine, I am fine, a soy-filled bitch and flagged your videos. I'm sorry I'm a soy-filled bitch and flagged your videos. <laughs> that, there we go. Put it on the soundboard. <sighs> well, until next time, this is Trevor at Top Loaded Fucking Gaming.